There's no place to go and nothing to do. I played around with using that as a book title a long time ago, but uh, I never got around to using it. But I like it as a pointer to how the mind works. And so I always talk about the ancient mind and how the ancient mind had qualities to it that were really advantageous a long time ago in a much different environment, but they backfire for us today. And so having a mind that was continuously, well, easily bored, adapted very easily, I mean, this was a real huge advantage. And we are stuck with this. And a very famous study in psychology reveals this. I talked about this maybe in another video where they took people who were either recently uh, paralyzed or recently had won the lottery. Now, in our minds, we think this is a really bad thing or a really good thing. And in some ways, that's true. But the mind so quickly adapts that after a year, both of these groups were at the same level of happiness they were before the incident. And that's a very important reminder of how quickly the mind adapts. I mean, think about what's happening right now. Any other time, six months ago, if you got to stay home for a couple extra days, this would be like an extra vacation. And now when people are forced to stay home, all of a sudden the mind really quickly wants to go back to work, even if it was a job that someone really didn't like. And so um, I thought I'd do a real short meditation, just a couple of things to help distance this desiring mind from who you really are and help you feel a little bit more comfortable doing nothing because it's absolutely okay to do nothing. And there really is no place to go. And so just a couple lines uh, that you can use as a meditation, I'll put them in the uh, description below. So keep well in mind that there is no place to go and there's nothing to do other than what you're doing right now. All you have to do is what you're doing right now at this moment. The mind that desires something else that's happening is not who I truly am. What I'm doing right now is as good as anything else I could be doing. And just go through that a couple times. Use it as a meditation, particularly when the, you find that the mind desires what it doesn't have. And the mind desires to go places that can almost be kind of comical when you start to really realize it. And you'll see that the mind wants to go someplace. You know, you'll catch it. You'll say, do I re is that something I really want to do? Or is it just this program that I'm kind of stuck with? So try that out. Let me know what you think.